everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this beautiful textured dovetail stitch pattern which you can see here in front of you. In this stitch pattern uh, all the texture is here on the front and then this is the back. So it's more of a one-sided design. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this stitch. Uh, I'm going to be using a little bit of cotton yarn, and this is uh, by Paintbox Yarns, as well as a four millimeter crochet hook. Now I did find with this stitch design that it was uh, looked best when your stitches were a little bit tighter. So uh, usually I use a five millimeter or maybe a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook for this yarn, but I've decided to go down to the four millimeter just to give the stitch a little bit more definition. Now, um, a free written pattern can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and I'll have direct links for you in the description of this video for both the written pattern and the hook and yarn. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to take a look around, subscribe. Let me know down in the comments how you would use this uh, pattern in a project or if you've used it before. Now our pattern today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. Then we're going to work a foundation chain. Your foundation chain for this stitch will need to be a multiple of eight stitches plus four. So today I'm going to work a total of 28 stitches. There's 20. And 28. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working three double crochet stitches into the fourth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four. Into that fourth chain, work three double crochet stitches. The chain three at the beginning does count as a double crochet stitch. Next, we're going to skip the next two chains and then work one double crochet into each of the next two chains. Skip the next two chains and into the next chain work three double crochet stitches uh, into each of the next two. So you're going to skip two and then work three double crochets into that next chain. All into the same chain. And then again work three more double crochets into that next chain. It's going to seem like a lot of double crochets uh, so close together, but don't worry, it will uh, all work out there in the end. You're now going to repeat that, skip the next two chains, work one double crochet into each of the next two. Skip the next two chains and work three double crochets into each of the next two chains. You're then going to continue to repeat that all the way across until you have two chains remaining. So I've worked across on my row one. I have two 
uh, one double crochet in each of the next two stitches, skip the next two chains, you then have two chains remaining, you're going to work, so there's really four here, but you've skipped two, so you're going to work three double crochets into the next chain, and then one double crochet into your final chain. That brings you to the end of row one. You can then chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. For row two, we're going to work one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch, skip the next two stitches, then work a front post triple stitch and two double crochet stitches all into the next stitch. So I've worked my double crochet in the next stitch, skip the next two stitches, into your next stitch, so it's the first of this set of two, you're going to work a front post triple. So yarn over twice, bring your hook in front of your work, insert it around the post from front through to back, out through the front again, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops three times. Now in the same stitch, you're going to work two double crochet stitches, so you're just working now into the top of that stitch. Just like so. You're then going to, into the next stitch, work two more double crochet stitches, all into the same stitch, followed by a front post triple stitch around the same stitch. So right below the post of the stitch that you just worked in, insert your hook from front through to back, out through front again, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three times. So that's what it's going to look like there. You're then going to skip the next two double crochet stitches. So there's one and two, and then work one double crochet into each of the next uh, two stitches. So there's one and two. You're now going to want to repeat. Skip the next two double crochet stitches into the next stitch, work a front post triple, followed by two double crochet stitches into the same stitch, into your next stitch, work two double crochets, followed by a front post triple around the post of the same stitch. Skip the next two stitches and work one double crochet in each of the next two. And again, repeat. You're going to repeat that all the way across uh, where you will end off by chaining three and turning your work. Just coming across to my final stitch here on row two. Don't forget to work into the top of that turning chain as you are treating it like a stitch so you do work into it. Chain three and turn your work. I'll show you my row two. For row three, you're going to work two double crochet stitches, followed by one back post triple stitch into the next stitch. 
So into the next stitch, two double crochets, you're just working into the top of your stitch, followed by a back post triple. So we want all of our textured stitches to be on the same side of our work. So we're working around the post of the same stitch just worked. Yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work, insert from the back through to the front, out through the back again, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, three times. You're then going to skip the next two stitches and double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Skip the next two stitches, work one back post triple stitch and two double crochet stitches all into the next stitch. So that's our back post and then around the same stitch or into the top of the same stitch work your two double crochets. You're now going to repeat into the next stitch, work two double crochet stitches, followed by a back post triple stitch around the post of the same stitch. Skip the next two stitches and work one double crochet into each of the next two. Skip the next two stitches and work a back post triple followed by two double crochet stitches all into the same stitch in the next stitch. and repeat two double crochets and a triple into the next and so forth all the way across and then you're going to work a final double crochet stitch into your final stitch. So I've come all the way across I've worked a front post, uh, back post triple, followed by two double crochets. I have one stitch remaining, which is my starting chain three, and which is a little bit tight, but you're going to work one final double crochet into that final stitch. You're then going to chain three and turn your work. So you should see that you have all of your texture here on the one side. For row four, you're going to double crochet into the next stitch, skip the next two stitches, into the next stitch, work one front post triple stitch and two double crochet stitches, Into your next stitch, work two double crochet stitches, followed by a front post triple into the same stitch. Skip the next two stitches, work a double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And you're now going to repeat, skip the next two stitches, work a front post triple into the next stitch, followed by two double crochet stitches into the top of that same stitch, work two double crochets and one front post triple into your next stitch. Skip the next two and then one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. You're going to repeat that 
all the way across and uh, then double crochet into your final stitch. I'm almost there, so I'm just going to keep going here for us. Skip my next two stitches, one double crochet into the next stitch, and then one double crochet into my final stitch, which is my turning chain. And that's all there is to working this pattern. For the rest of the pattern, you're going to simply repeat your rows three, and that was the row with the back post triple stitches, and your row four, that row that we just worked for as long as you would like, and uh, then fasten off and weave in your ends. And that is the beautiful dovetail stitch. So thank you so much for joining me once again. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.